Hello there, and welcome to the War Factory for today, August the 23rd. Happy birthday to all the boys and girls out there in Boom World. I don't know, Boomtown? No, Boomtown would... We're not going to get into it, but happy birthday, uh, just because I know, you know, a couple people have their birthdays around now. And uh, if you don't know who you are, then I'm probably not talking about you. But if your birthday is around now, happy birthday. Anyways, <laughs> let's move on. I decided I wanted to go with Chrism. I wanted to Chrism uh, the right-hand side of this base because it just looked tasty. I, like, honestly, it's awesome. There is obviously a couple of Hot Pockets that we got to deal with. And there are a couple of Shock Launchers we have to deal with. And a rocket launcher, which I have already dealt with, and you saw how. Uh, the rest of this side is so clean, it, like it's not even an issue until we close in on the end of the, the right-hand side in this base. So, um, I, I basically started using a rotation of the long shocks, and the regular shocks, and critters, and the chrism, and I just sort of pushed up the right-hand side... Well then, uh, yeah. So I don't know what caused that, and hopefully it doesn't happen to you guys. But as you can see over on the right hand side there, um, it, it cleared pretty good even with me not being around. I don't know if maybe that was a function of the long shocks or just like blowing up one of the boxes or what. I was a little bit nervous about going around the right hand side and possibly messing something up. So I decided I wanted to see what would have happened if I hit the middle with some tanks with obviously bullet right out in front. And, and I, I kind of wanted to see what I could push into, what I could push for. And uh, I, I was actually really, really surprised that I had already been slammed right here. Uh, my bullet has dropped, but as you can see, the, the super juice there is cranked up to 40 energy a pop already. I feel like um, not the way to go. The, the, I, with the super tanks, I thought, oh yeah, 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 super speed tanks, I'm gonna go in, pew, 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 everything's gonna die, it'll be amazing, uh, tribes, hooray! No, I was wrong. I was dead, dead wrong. Turns out, the correct answer, probably, let's face it, would have been Chrism again, because the critter wall would have blocked everything, all you would have had to have done is keep the shock on the, on the lasers, on all of the lasers, all the lasers need to be shocked, eh? So you shock them, and then you'll be fine. For sure on that. Unfortunately, I don't learn very quickly. I'm I'm special like that. So I went in again. This time, I'm getting ready for the Hot Pockets, because I know I'm going to be hitting them soon. I'm also getting ready with the lasers, because I know... It might not seem like a big deal, but those lasers will burn through the tanks and not necessarily are they going to hurt the tanks that horribly, but what they will do is ruin the medics in behind the tanks and if the medics go down, the tanks go down, and if the tanks go down, it's going to be about as fruitful, actually probably less fruitful, than my first attack. So I decided, left hand side, Throwing all the shocks on all the things, gonna have a good time. And obviously there's two Doom Cannons, absolutely scary as poop. So I kept some nice long extended targeted shocks on them. That way all of my tanks can roll all up on their business and ruin some fool's days. As you can see I also have the, the bullet floating around up there just for good measure. Now what I didn't pay attention to was the fact that there is a Doom Cannon in behind the freaking base at like 10 o'clock and you can probably see if you go back and you didn't see it before, kind of like I didn't see it while I was doing this rush, um, the, the Doom Cannon just 
just mutilates all of the tanks. So I decided, okay, all right, we got a Doom Cannon in behind there doing horrible, horrible things to the tanks. I'll pull down, I'll, I'll pull it out to where it's safe, and then, you know, do the long shot. Unfortunately, as you can see, the Doom Cannon still clearing up the last couple of tanks that it can reach. And then my tanks start shooting at the shield. <laughs> oh gosh. Oh, sorry. Okay, it's still going. Uh, yeah. It, uh, it takes a while. Like, a, a long while. Like a, we're, we're gonna skip ahead and speed this up a while. Huh. So, yeah, as you can see, tanks still shooting away, shield still standing just because we lost so many tanks due to all the craziness and the silliness. And then, I've already said this once, I can't say it too many times, but I'm a slow learner. So I landed my tanks with my medics again to see what would happen if I went around the left hand side. Now, I know what you're saying. Oh my gosh, Beard, the Doom Cannons are gone. This is nothing like what you'd run into if you went around the left-hand side. And to you, I say you're absolutely correct. However, we do have the Long Shocks. So, two Long Shocks, Long Shocks, all of the Doom Cannons that you really need to worry about. You will have some extra leisures, pew-pewing, and you're gonna have to deal with those. You're gonna have to, to play with them and have some fun, but if you can keep them long shocked to get to pretty much like where my tanks are right here, from here you could actually detour, pop those doom cannons while they're in long shock them. If it's not a word, I'm making it a word. I don't even care. So you, you, can, you can pop those Doom Cannons. Once the Doom Cannons are popped, drag all your tanks right back over into that far left-hand corner of the map, like kind of where I'm heading towards right now. Maybe even more so if that's what makes you feel comfortable. I'm not going to judge. Uh, but you're going to get your tanks up into that top corner, and then they're going to be able to sweep out. The Doom Cannons are all going to be gone. You're not going to have to worry about them. You'll be able to do, you know, your happy dance of happy timeness and clear this backside out in case you're afraid of that right hand side at the front where, you know, it just kind of decided no more game for beard. Uh, now, because obviously I've, I've messed around and I've cleared so many things up and I've done so many things, um, I, I want to point out. On the previous attacks, I was rolling with Bullet and then T-Med. On this attack, I'm rolling with Dr. Kevin and T-Med. And the reason for that is because I wanted the extra heals. I didn't want Bullet running up ahead getting scorched by all of the... Scorching... I didn't want him getting machine gunned by the machine guns, okay? So, uh... I went with Kevin. And when you start getting into range of that Doom Cannon, just start pumping out the Riflemen. Just just throw them out there. You're going to have a wall of Riflemen instead of a wall of Critters. And it'll work just as good as you can see. It allows me to coast through everything in this area. I did lose the one tank, but that was while I was running away. I was slow on the old uh, smoke there. And just to mock this War Factory and its errors that it's trying to throw... I decided I'd go for a quick walk around, as you can see, the entirety of the base. There are a few mines that I missed, so I, uh, I made sure that I went back and I covered those because, let's face it, if you're going to have a full clear, you might as well make it a truly full clear. Anyways, guys, thank you very much for watching. Hopefully this has been helpful, hopefully it's been entertaining, and above all else, Hopefully you guys have a fantastic day.